right, Barry kicking it off on Locomotive 16. Big 500 foot. And he leaves it a little bit left, but pin high. He just smooths it right up there. Crushed it. Dave Feldberg. Turns it over a little longer than he'd like, but that'll be fine. Comes back. Oh, that's nice. That's that's the finished edge of the green. He might know what he's doing. Jeff, lefty, flexing it over to the left, hoping for it to come back. And it kind of stays over there, but it'll be fine. Ross, the big backhand. Oh, it turned over late. That's going to be beautiful. I think he's going to like that. Yep, beautiful shot. And Lionel, finish it off. Another lefty. He shapes it a big right to left, which is going to cause it come out with a hard right finish. Almost makes the triangle in the creek, but OB. Lionel's approach is parked. Jeff's putt from about 70. Bans it. Wow. Solid putt. Barry with a little forehand under the tree limbs. Close. Feldberg ended up 20 feet right inside that bushy tree. That was a beautiful finish and a great eagle. Tap in eagle for Ross. Birdie for Barry. And a birdie for Jeff. Lionel ends up with the par. Locomotive 17 is played from the straight. 345, but uphill. These guys are really expecting to be on the green, but it's a hard shot across the creek. He went through that tree on the right, touched him up, finished him short left. Ross puts it up there, turns it over a little too much. Bottom of the slope. Barry puts it right into the tree and gets the bad kick, OB. Jeff, lefty, just trying to hit the middle of that dirt slope. And he pulls it left. Lionel, also lefty, also turns it over too much. Gonna finish, that short left is a tough spot. Barry with his third shot after OB. A perfect approach. Feldberg, short left, but plenty of room to work with. Parks it. Lionel with a big lefty turnover. Puts it on the green nicely. That was a tough spot, tougher than it looked. Ross with his up shot, 15 feet left. And Jeff out of the woods with a nice up shot under the basket. Lionel for his par, Feldberg for his par, Ross taps in for his par, Bogey for Barry after going OB, and Jeff with a par. Locomotive 18 is 510 par 4 uphill with a touchy tee shot. You gotta decide if you're gonna lay it up around the corner or try to drive it out the gap. Dave Feldberg with a big roller off the tee, and that looks perfect. Nah, a little quick. Finished a little tighter right, but he's out. Ross also trying the roller, and hits early left. 
That makes the hole long. Jeff, little lefty, just trying to turn the corner, but finds the inside. Gets a little bit lucky, pushes through to the gap. Lionel going lefty S-curve and just pushes through to the woods on the left. It was unlucky. Looks like a roller from Barry. That's a better line than Dave's. And we'll go a little further out. That was beautiful. Can't do it much better than that. Ross trying to get out into the open and pulls it left into the woods again. Jeff trying to stretch one out. That was big. Big on the edge of the green. Great shot. Lionel going with another roller back into the woods on the left. Now just going with a straight forehand, just trying to get out of the woods. Ross with the forehand roller up the hill. And that came out hot. And that really should have finished left. That was a little unfortunate. That was a good roller. Feldberg, his second shot. Just trying to get it close. And he did. Barry with this great drive is actually probably going to half run it. Tap in bird for him. Lionel from behind his last tree almost puts it in. Ross after his long roller. Mm. Tries to run one. Jeff from Circle's Edge for his birdie misses it. Bogey for Ross. Feldy taps in for birdie. Good bird. Barry taps in for bird. And Jeff finishes off his par. Tap in bogey for Lionel. All right, locomotive hole one is the same as freight hole one. Just warm it up, smooth it down there. And take your bird, 290 foot par three. Dave Feldberg teeing off on one, trying to smooth the putter up. And leaves it short. Barry also with the backhand putter. Just trying not to do too much on this hole. That's right. 10 feet short. Jeff with the left hand goes straight at it. It's going to finish a little bit right. But fine. Ross going to go with a thumber. Yep, over the top. It's a popular shot on this hole. And he is parked. Lionel the lefty. Also going pretty much straight at it. And that's perfect. Feldberg has got the longest putt. And he hits chains left to miss his bird. Jeff from a knee. Great birdie. Ross taps in for his bird. Barry for his short birdie. And Lionel with a terrific drive. Locomotive two is the big par four, 580 downhill. Placement shot, first shot, tight woods at the end with a fall off behind the basket. There is nothing nice about this hole. Locomotive hole two, Barry tees off. One of the hardest, if not the hardest hole on the course. He's just trying to place it in the gap like that. Can't do it much better. Jeff gonna do the same thing left-handed little unlucky left slide, but we'll be fine. 
another thumber from Ross puts it in the center but it rolls to the right and that's gonna be tricky right is fine unless you're long tight right is bad Lionel with a nice smooth lefty approach scoots up that hill and rolls to the right that was terribly unlucky and we get a nice grin from him Feldberg after his par on one is looking to make up for it right here with a roller and let's see ah it's a little early stay no. that won't be a fun second shot Ross gonna go with a backhand roller from his awkward position and I've never seen that shot and he almost made the green that was beautiful Barry from dead center just gonna do his oh he had that nice smooth turnover but it just came in early Jeff backhand left hand should suit him well and just lets it turn too far left catches a tree Lionel from a knee a little bit sharp and he gets a great kick back into the fairway Feldberg second really tough spot to get out of and he made it all the way down to the ditch in front of the green Barry from the ditch lays it up nicely Lionel with a nice little layup Jeff with his layup nobody really wants to run this one Feldberg lays it up it's a pretty severe drop off behind that basket Ross could go for it from the ditch but left it a tiny bit short tap in par for Jeff tap in par for Barry the same for Feldberg Ross sets it in for his par Lionel as well locomotive three is Medusa again 235 par three uphill just need to hug the right side of the fairway the whole way up locomotive three is Medusa Barry with a beautiful backhand right hand just slides it up under the basket tough lefty hole Jeff throws it up there turn 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 that's gorgeous great turnover shot from him Ross with a smooth little backhand right hand and just pulls it right leaves it short Lionel gonna try to flick a lefty up there great S curve flares right up there perfect Feldberg leaves it low but scoots it up next to Medusa he'll have a putt great long bird from Ross 25 footer for Dave birdie short bird for Jeff Lionel with a short bird good putt and Barry with a tap in after his great drive locomotive four touchy little forehand finishes downhill right 260 foot par three all right Barry teeing off on loco four trying to do a backhand just smooth let it drift and he pulls it it's a good lefty hole for Jeff but he does not turn it over and just pushes it right and somehow got through the woods to the green Ross with the backhand same line as Barry sneaks through but still hits in a tree early left 
Lionel. These lefties should be making this hole look easier. Also goes through the woods and finds maybe a circle's edge putt. Feldberg trying to do the backhand gentle drift just like that but it's early almost gets through Barry trying to do a soft run a little floater leaves it short Ross with a hundred footer down the hill short Feldberg from the woods almost converts his birdie, but doesn't. Lionel, also from Circle's Edge in the wood, leaves his birdie short. Barry trying to clean up his par. Ooh, and hits the cage. Yay, Jeff got a birdie. Gotta take advantage of that luck. Par for Feldberg. Also for Ross. Tap in par for Lionel and an unhappy bogey for Barry. Locomotive five is the island hole. 180 par three, downhill, you must make the island or it's a stroke at the drop zone. Jeff leading off after that nice bird. Little left hand floater, go in. Nope, short, good shot. Lionel up second. Does a little S floater. Also perfect. Dave Feldberg. Smooth little touch. Mm, just left of the basket. Stays on. And Barry. Out to the right, bringing it back, stays on the island. Everybody safely on. Birdie for Dave. Birdie for Barry. A nice little short one for Ross. Jeff, a little 10 footer for Birdie. Lionel with a little bit less, gets his bird. A locomotive hole six is a fun par three, 250 feet, right hand route, left hand route, both open. Uh, green, beautiful under the trees. It's a nice hole. All right, locomotive six from the short. It's a really fun shot. He does a turnover that doesn't quite get there. We're going with a thumber from Ross. Back of the green, not bad. Lionel should have a nice lefty route there. And that will work. About 10 feet. Dave Feldberg gonna take the right route. And that's perfect. Barry's gonna do the turnover through the left route. Hold it. That's right at it. Great shot. Long putt for Jeff. And nails it. Great bird. Ross at the edge of the circle. Drains it. Feldberg taps in his 15 footer. Barry even shorter, both get their birds. And Lionel Park for his birdie. Hole seven locomotive is a brutal 355 foot hole with a creek that cuts in on the left side, trees on the right, creeks around in the basket. It's a tough one to get all the way there. Jeff's up first on this par three. Start of the new holes, that's a tough lefty hole. Puts it on the right side of the fairway, but a good 80 feet out putting at the creek. 
Ross with the right hand backhand turns it over and it doesn't really come back about the same spot as Jeff Lionel left hand forehand flex OB in the creek Feldberg crushes it up the middle it's gonna be nice 25 feet Barry with the right hand, backhand, ooh, that's high. That could be trouble. Yep, sawed it off into the creek left. Jeff with his long, scary approach. Ross with a 45 footer, a little bit timid, leaves it short. Lionel after Going to OB, his approach misses. Barry, same thing, same spot. Mmm, it's the band. Dave Feldberg from the back of the green, right at the creek, no problem. Good birdie. Lionel for his bogey after going OB. Jeff cleans up his par. Barry with his bogey after going OB. And Ross taps in for his par. Locomotive 8 is 750 feet uphill. Par 5 turns into the woods, then big corner turn around to the left, and then a long narrow straight finish to the basket. It's about as hard as they get. And if you can't play golf, this hole will eat you up. Feldberg, after that bird, lean it off on locomotive eight. Big turnover into the woods. Looks early. Oh, not bad. Hug to the right side, but he'll have a shot. Jeff with the left hander also looks early. Yep. Just sawed that off a little bit, but it'll play. Ross going with the big backhand turnover. Puts it up nice and high, but too much turn. And that's going to dump out to the right. Lionel trying backhand, left hand. Hits early right. Barry played this hole many times and that looks perfect uh, finishes a little unlucky left but great shot second shot by Lionel saws it off into the woods left Jeff playing the gap that he found and kicks right into the woods it's a tight tight corner go around Ross looks like he placed it up there perfectly in the bend Feldberg is dead center of the fairway smooths it around the corner but a little bit touchy a little bit short Barry got unlucky on that left side and that's a tough corner to turn but he does it nicely that's where you want to be for that third shot Lionel trying to get out of trouble. It's a good spot. Jeff also in the trees a little bit. Just trying to place it for his next shot. It's a good spot. Lionel trying to drive the long narrow finish to this hole and touches left side, finishes right. A little bit in the woods, but should be fine. Ross going to try to flex a forehand out and saws it off into the woods right. That's not going to be fun. Feldberg trying not to get too greedy on this next shot. Flares it around the corner. It's beautiful. Easy approach to the green. Jeff has a look here at the green, but comes out of his hand early right. 
Barry with a long approach to the green. Slides it out of the woods. Maybe a putt. Jeff trying to get out of the woods and goes back into the woods on the other side a little bit. Uh, now trying to get one out to the green. That's a great shot. That should get all the way there. He's putting. Ross doesn't quite get out of the woods. He's back in the woods. Feldberg with a nice run from 100 feet. Puts it under the basket. Ross with the forehand roller. That'll work. Left hand floater from Lionel. Leaves it a little low. Barry might take a half run here. Yep, floaty little run. Mmm, hits the pole. Great try. Jeff misses his finish. Ross from Circle's Edge. Banded off to the right, but sits down. Now he's cleaning that up for a double bogey. Lionel tapping in for a bogey. Triple bogey by Jeff after playing just too much in the woods. Par for Feldberg. And Barry sets his in for par. Locomotive nine, 200 feet, and that last two trees before the basket are six feet apart. So it is a tight, tight gap. Very tough par three. Feldberg on the tiny little 200 foot par three hits a tree. Barry smooths it up the middle. A little bit of a tree, but edge of the green. Lionel with his putter pulls it a little bit left, but there's a gap there and finishes 10 feet from the basket. A nice little easy thumber from Ross hits 60 feet from the basket. Jeff tries to smooth one up the middle. It goes all the way right side, finishes a little bit in the woods, edge of the green. Feldberg with a tough up shot. He tries forehand roller, hits another tree. This gap doesn't get any bigger, whether it's your first shot or second shot. Ross hits another tree. It's one of the hardest par threes I've seen. Feldberg takes a run, but misses it. Barry, there you go. Great birdie from his edge of the circle. Hug the basket, there you go. Ross trying to clean up, just left. Tap in bogey for Dave. Little turbo out of the woods for Jeff. Ross punching in his bogey. Nice bird there from Lionel. And Jeff cleans his par up. Locomotive 10 is a technical little downhill left to right that finishes with no green. You gotta slide it up to the hole. Very brutal. Locomotive 10 is a beautiful little turnover shot just like that. Just gotta keep it soft and in the fairway. Wow, he flew it past the basket. That was a great shot, but he's gonna have 50 feet coming back up that hill. Lionel throwing left hand and just, there's just not enough fairway there to shape it. You really have to throw a laser. Good shot by Jeff. See if he can flare down to the green. Nope, comes up short right. Feldberg gonna try a backhand turnover. And that's perfect. Just perfect. 
25 feet uphill from the basket. Ross trying the same shot, looks low. It's gonna have to get a nice skip, and it doesn't. It's gonna be short left. Lionel trying to get close to the basket. Lionel's third approach tries to smooth it up to the basket, but it still ends up circle's edge with a death putt. Ross, a gentle, gentle layup, scary green. Jeff out of the woods with a half run, and you're welcome for the retaining wall, or that would have been gone. Dave doesn't want anything to do with that putt, so he lays it up. Barry made it all the way down to the other fairway and almost drains it coming back. A great run. Lionel trying to finish up. Wow, brave putt, drains it for a bogey. Ross taps in for par. Barry taps in for par. Dave taps in for par. Jeff taps in for par. Locomotive 11 is straight uphill. It's a tight gap. It's only 260 feet, but it probably plays 350 with no room left or right to work with unless you take the right gap off the tee. All right, Barry leading us off. 260 uphill. No room to the right to work with but he found a way around the entire right side and is on the green. Jeff, lefty's probably gonna go around. Nope, straight up the middle. Great shot, parked. Dave Feldberg. Hits that early tree. You gotta decide straight or right and sometimes you get caught in the middle. Like that, Ross did the same thing, kicked to the same spot. Lionel going up the middle, left hand, S curving and just gets tangled in the left side, 75 short. Ross pitching out. Dave's second shot from the same spot he airs it out a little bit to the right, but still 20 feet. It's a good shot. Ross with his approach after getting out of the woods. Great shot. Right into the basket. Lionel with a long putt. Leaves it a little short. Jeff drains his birdie. Great shot. Barry from his spot of luck. Oh, lips out. And he'll have to take that par. Feldberg, after his great upshot, gets his par. Ross has to take a bogey. Par for Lionel. And a disappointing par for Barry. Locomotive 12 is 450 across the road through the gap, down to the left, down the hill, through the gully, with a sloping green to the right. Tricky, technical, pretty hole. All right, locomotive 12. This one is long, long, long. Jeff tries to turn it over and does. Gets it all the way through the gap, turned over to the left, which is where you want to be for that second shot. It's a beautiful shot. Barry Schultz, right hand, backhand up the middle and hits the only limb that is trouble. Dave Feldberg. Let's see how far. Uh, he left it a little bit low and is parked on the other green. 
but not where you want to be for the other basket. Lionel, left hand, forehand, flex. Uh, gets tangled up in the right side. Be a tricky second shot. Ross, right hand, backhand. Looks crushed. Look, that'll be nice and left. The more left, the better. And look how long that is. One of the best shots I've seen there. Barry, not where he wanted to be, but a terrific second shot. Almost made it to the edge of the circle from there, which is amazing. Second shot for Jeff. Smooth little approach with a little bit of a dangerous green. Perfect. Dave Feldberg is going to have to curl this around, but not let it get hot. That's great. Great shot. Ross laying up his under the basket. Lionel taking a stab at it, but lays it up under the basket. Let's see if Barry... Oh, right side chains for his bird. Brutal. Dave Feldberg converts his birdie. That's a pretty one. Ross taps in for his bird. Jeff taps in for his bird. And Barry for par. Lionel with his par. Locomotive 13 is a nice, easy downhiller. 415 feet, but nothing to it. Just straight, no real danger here. Well, 13 on the locomotive is just straight down the hill. He tried to turn over that backhand, left hand, but it didn't happen. Jeff is going to be short. Dave Feldberg. Backhand, right hand, crushes it straight. Don't flare. It's a good shot. Ross, right hand, backhand, goes around the telephone pole. Stay out of the tall stuff? No. Barry wants to make up for that last hole. Right hand, backhand, and just smooths. Probably a rock, I don't know, it looked like a mid-range. Past the basket, 25 feet, great drive. Lionel goes left hand, backhand, turnover. And that's about perfect if it will come out. Nope, never faded. Below the basket, but circle's edge. Long run for Jeff. Short right. Out of the tall stuff for Ross, but he's got to look. He just half lays it up. Lionel from below the slope leaves it low. Barry from the edge of OB. Nice bird. Feldberg, pin high, straight left. Great birdie. Tap in for Ross for his par. Lionel for his par. And Jeff taps in for his par. Locomotive 14 is the downhill version of five, so it is a turnover shot with a long straight finish, 275 foot par three. Locomotive 14 from the lower position, big backhand turnover that has to finish long and straight. And Dave finished early left, but we'll still have a look. He's on the path. Barry Schultz, right hand, backhand, putter. Shaped nicely, slid right up to the basket. Beautiful shot. 
Jeff with his backhand, left hand. He uses a little more room than he had, but he's 20 feet. Ross goes with a big right hand, backhand, high shot, and hits an early tree left. Let's see what Lionel can do. Left hand. Saws it off early. Ross from 150. Good approach, puts it under the basket. Lionel from about the same spot to about the same spot. Dave Feldberg from the walking path takes advantage, gets his birdie. Jeff, oh, he will have to settle. Barry, after his near perfect drive, taps in for bird. Jeff cleaning up his par. Ross tapping in for his par. And Lionel setting his in for par. Locomotive 15 is our 750 foot par four downhill wide open. Chance to air it out. These guys are waiting for this. All right, Dave Feldberg trying to crush one off of the tee on this 750. And he gets it about 400 down there. Center of the fairway. Barry wrapping around the right side crushed nice and high and that's about 450 center fairway Jeff going left hand and hyzer around the right side and it's never really gonna get its full flight although he did crush it good grief if that had finished and faded it would have been I mean that's got to be 575 Ross airs it out to the right. Nice and safe, center of the fairway. Lionel looks like he's gonna go with the big S curve as well. Anheuser around the right side. It does fade, maybe a tiny bit early, but he still gets 450 out of it. Feldberg's approach. Ooh, that's a little flat. Nope. He just put it in the trees on the right side. I think he just threw it too hard. Ross trying a backhand roller that should finish nicely up the hill, but a little sharp and curls early. Barry Schultz going to come at it from the right side, I'm sure. Look at that. Should slide perfectly down the hill. Oh! Got burgled by the tower. Circle's edge. Unlucky. Lionel from the top right side should come in strong left to right. With the safe finish into the slope. Good shot. Jeff, after his bomb drive, is smoothing a putter into the basket. Goes just over the basket. Finishes to the right, but almost back at circle's edge. Feldberg from the woods on the right. Just trying to lay it up there and almost throws it in. Ross running it from 40. Tips off the cage. Barry from Circle's Edge has to go around the tower and drains it for a birdie. Beautiful. Jeff cleaning up. Good bird. Lionel from the back corner. Great bird. Feldberg. Oh, goes high 
and almost gets a roll away to go with it. Ross taps in for par. Feldy taps in for Bogue. 